Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching again. I hope this is of interest to you. Um, I'm just going to show you a few things that I've learned in my life. Nothing very interesting, but you might be interested nevertheless. Anyway, this is a mushroom I carved out with a chainsaw. A Mario mushroom. Um, what's his name? Just a regular mushroom. Is it not a mushy? No, it's just a regular mushroom. It makes you grow to uh, your regular so size. So all it, all it was two weeks ago was an old log. So I took the chainsaw to it and painted it up. And it sits in Alfie's bedroom, which he's very grateful of. I've made lots of different ones of them, but that's just one of the things you can make with an old log. Just be careful when you're handling the chainsaw. Wear the proper clothes. Anyway, I'm going to show you something, what you might be interested in. Many years ago I learned this, or I found this out for myself. I used to use wire wool a lot, just a simple wire wool, like this. It comes in handy for putting on wax onto furniture, into floorboards, or, or taking wax off, or cleaning metal, for instance. These was all rustier a week or two ago. Um, so I took the wire wool and cleaned all the, the rust off of them. But, need I say, something sinister with wire wool. Very dangerous. Probably none of you know this. One or two of you might. But say, for instance, you've got that nice harmless piece of wire wool lying about and you think, what do you think? I'll just demonstrate. That's your toolbox with all your tools and whatnot in and your bits and pieces. And you just lay it in there. And being a builder or a carpenter or every, anything that you might use power tools with, you throw, you throw your batteries in with your wire wall. And this is just a little demonstration of how dangerous it can be, so be warned when you put wire wall in with your tools, power tools. This is what happens. Now, you wouldn't want that to happen, really, if you was had your tools in your van, your rear wire wall and your power tools, you could see that that would quite easily turn into a fire. Waking up in the morning to wonder why your van and all your tools are not there. It's a very dangerous, so be warned, don't ever put wire wall with batteries. That includes in your shed, indoors, wherever. I'll just show you again what happens as soon as the battery touches the wire wall. I mean this is only a little battery, but that could quite easily become an inferno mixed with wood and paint and chemicals in your shed. So just be warned with wire wall. And that the heat coming off of that is intense. So just be careful. Actually feels really warm though. I've showed you that, I've showed you the mushroom today. I don't want the videos to be too long because I don't want them to get boring. Um, I'm new at this so hopefully you get to like what I'm doing and there will be more things to come in the future. Um, I should be making lots of different things out of wood and just different things of what are different, what nobody else has got or seen before. So. Thank you for watching my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you all soon.